Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Crux64 Gaming bringing you um, a new Let's Play. Um, I guess that you can guess what this is going to be, or if you just look at the title, you'll know what it is. But this is Super Donkey Kong in Japanese. In America, though, we know this as Donkey Kong Country. So um, we are going to do the first part of the Let's Play. And without further ado, let's get going. Now, the differences between um, the Japanese and American are very, very small. Uh, maybe you'll see some, notice some differences, but there aren't a lot. Um, I think they say that the game towards the very end is a little bit easier, but we'll find out. Man, the music is so classic. I remember playing this. This might be one of the very first uh, Super Nintendo games I ever, uh, I ever played. But yes, this was very ingrained in my, um, my childhood. We definitely want that. Okay, oh shoot. Come on. Let's get Diddy going. I've actually always preferred Diddy over Donkey. Oh, come on. We're going to have to bring this guy over here. Because Diddy could jump higher and he was faster. I always thought that Donkey Kong was just too clunky, you know? Oh no, okay. Well, let's just go. Let's get through this. Good old Rambi, the Rhino. We're at least going to get all of the, uh, the K-O-N-G spelling. But yes, the soundtrack is awesome. But, uh, isn't there another one down here? Yep. Okay. I'm so bad at these. Oh, see, I already messed it up. <laughs> oh, well, this is not going to be a completionist run through. This is just going to be a let's play. So, here we go. Let's take these guys out. I never knew what those things were until, uh, I got my hands on the manual to. Uh, this game and then I realized that they have belts and that they're not turtles they seem like turtles to me I'm not sure why all right well that's uh, that jungle Japes is at the first level I can't remember anymore so now we're gonna do the second one it's dark and stormy it's interesting too is the story behind this game actually starts out with, uh, it was a dark and stormy night, which I always thought was really clever of, uh, of just a beginning. I mean, it sounds cliche, but I just think it's funny. I mean, Rare never takes anything seriously, and I love it. Um, by the time this game has come out, uh, or, or this Let's Play has come out, I've played uh, Sea of Thieves, and that game is a blast. I know it's not the same team at all that worked on this, but... I feel like Rare has its own kind of culture to their games that they make, whether it be Banjo-Kazooie, um, Conker's Bad Fur Day, even Donkey Kong 64. It's just, it's just, there's this sense of just enjoy life and don't take it too seriously kind of mentality. And I think that's why they've survived as such a successful uh, studio. I don't know. I actually made it up there. Great. And land. Got the little golden frog. These bees, they always freak me out. I think, oh man, this is a bad timing. Those bees though, uh, the huge stingers and everything. I think they got a little bit uh, carried away. Oh shoot, I jumped and it didn't capture it all the way. It went into the thing, so I didn't get the KONG. Dang it. But yeah, they kind of went overboard with the design of the bees. I think in the third one, where they kind of are like a... Um, like a machine type of kind of butt to them. I can't really explain that. It's, it's strange. Alright, let's get going. That extra life. We got ten extra lives. Unfortunately, with this game, though, as you quit... Then you uh, you go back to five lives. 
you turn off the game, you can have a million lives before you turn it off. But once you turn it off, turn it back on, you've got five lives. Boom. The Barrel of Monkeys. I love that idea. This is the Barrel of Monkeys. It's And the barrel shooting you around. This game is just... You know, I'd put it. I'd, I'd list this as one of the best games ever made. It's just so iconic. One of the best uh, side scroller series ever. Um, the pre-rendered graphics, everything. It's just beautiful. The music. David Wise is a genius. In fact, uh, look up online how much the uh, his his or I guess the Donkey Kong. Country soundtracks go for um, for CD. They they are very expensive. Um, I don't recommend downloading, you know, legally. But that might be one of the only ways that you can actually get some of this music, um, unless you want to break the bank to get their music. Um, I lucked out on an eBay uh, listing, and I actually got um, the Duck Hunt Country One soundtrack. Uh, it's also it's known as DK Jams, but I found it for a steal. Um, and so I was rather surprised and pleased to get that. All right, we're going to do our first water level. I love this music. It's just... I fall asleep sometimes to it. I'll just play it when I need to calm down. Very well done. It's octopuses, Octop yeah, octopuses. That's the that's the correct plural. I was right. Okay. As far as speed running, I've never uh, I've never been a speed runner. Um, I just I feel like it kind of ruins the spirit of the game for me. Maybe some games I could I could test my hand at it, but Donkey Kong Country is just a lot of it was my childhood. I spent a lot of time going through these worlds that I don't want to ruin it with with the routine run through um, I should have gone the other way to get that extra life but it's okay this one I also seem to lose where the the letters are Kong the squeaky noises you'll hear obviously it's coming from my oh shoot coming from my controller the controllers extra squeaky oh gosh because I am playing on a real Super Nintendo um, on the capture card. So you might see a little bit of ghosting here and there. So that's not a ROM. That is just my capture card on a real uh, Donkey Kong Country card. Feel free to, if you guys have questions, general questions, uh, send me a message or even a comment on here about how to stream. Um, I do have uh, friends that, that are watching this that uh, want to know more about it, tips, things like that. I'm happy to help out. Um, I have streamed to Facebook uh, with my some groups, and it's it's been a lot of fun. Uh, you get a, a definitely a bug for streaming, for sure. It's pretty addicting. Get that extra laugh, and that's the exit of the level. Funky Flights, we won't visit him. Maybe a little bit later we will. But today is not that day. Okay. Let me do this little trick. Ain't nobody got time for that. I love the barrels, though. I love the levels where you have to do the timing and the... Um, barrel blasting. It's, just, it's great. The timing <laughs> as I say that and I die oh man that's how you know this is real though I could be like one of those other let's players that you know they edit it all out so they they never mess up I'm not like that I'm honest with you guys I want you to see me when I when I lose when I get frustrated because that that is the spirit of a gamer and I think that's it's totally just faked when when they alter their let's plays. I know there was a, a bonus right there that I could go into. 
throw that. Doing that. I'll get this bonus. I have to go back up. Dang it, never mind. It's not gonna work. Oh gosh, no. Don't follow him, donkey. Darn it. As you can see, I do have a, a little conversion issue there. On the dark screens, you'll see a, a green line. But once again, just pointing out my pointing out the flaws of it, but hey, it still works. I'm glad you're watching. So uh, Okay, I think there's another one here. Nope. He's dead. He did. He died. That end. Jump. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, and there we go. There we go. There we go. That Kong. There we go. Just like I like it. 15 extra lives. We'll see if I keep those. But we'll save it. And then uh, I think we're going to take on our uh, the boss here. The beaver. I think we'll uh, take him on in part two. So anyway, thanks for watching part one. And you guys have a brilliant day, night, whatever it is. You know the drill. Anyway, we'll see you in part two.